Biggest abandoned mega projects in the world. From a mysterious Japanese island with a troubled past to a towering skyscraper in Venezuela, once home to 5,000 squatters. Let's take a look at eight of the world's most expensive abandoned projects. They dream of making cities better, changing how we travel, or creating new technology. But not all dreams come true. Some of these big projects end up being left behind, like forgotten things from the past. They remind us of the most expensive plans that never happened. The most costly abandoned projects show us that even the biggest ideas can fail. Sometimes, it's because there's not enough budget, or there are political problems, or the plans were just too unrealistic. Each one had its own unique idea, but in the end, they all fail. So today, in this video, we are going to show you biggest abandoned mega projects in the world. Number 8. The New South China Mall, China In a busy city called Dongguan in China, there's a huge mall called the New South China Mall. It was meant to be the biggest symbol of shopping, with lots of stores spread over a massive area of 7.1 million square feet. But ever since it opened in 2005, it's mostly empty. Instead of being a thriving place, it's more like a ghost town. This big dream of success has turned into a sad reminder of what can go wrong when you spend too much and don't plan well in business. The mall struggles because it doesn't have enough shops, it's not in a great location, and it misjudged how much people would want to shop there. The once lively halls are now quiet and empty. The empty halls and shops show how this big idea has failed. This empty place teaches a lesson to business people. Be careful, plan well, and understand what people really want before starting something big. Number 7. The City of Dreams Mediterranean, Cyprus Nestled by the pretty shores of Cyprus, the City of Dreams Mediterranean wanted to be a super fancy vacation spot with a cool resort and casino. They had big plans for fancy hotels, a huge casino, posh stores, and fun places to hang out. The idea was to make Cyprus a really cool place for tourists, but because of budget problems and political discords, they had to stop building it suddenly. Now, the place where they were building is empty and quiet. It's like a reminder of a dream that didn't come true, and it could have been so great for Cyprus's tourism. The place they dreamed of making is still just a dream, and the spot where it was supposed to be is empty. The City of Dreams Mediterranean turned into a city of empty spaces, telling a story of plans that didn't happen. Number 6. The Kowloon Station Development, Hong Kong Right in the middle of Hong Kong, there was a big plan to make something really special called the Kowloon Station Development. They wanted to create a place that had an underground train station, luxury homes, shops, and offices all together. They wanted everything to fit together nicely, but making this dream come true was not easy. The cost of building was very high, the price of the land kept going up, and there was a lot of uncertainty about the economy. Because of these problems, they had to stop the project and leave it unfinished. Now, when you look at it, you see a big structure that's only partly built. It's like a reminder of what could have been. The unfinished building tells a story about how sometimes, plans don't work out because of money troubles and other problems. Even though the city around it is changing, the Kowloon Station development is stuck in the past, showing us how big ideas can sometimes be stopped by things we can't control. Number 5. The High Speed Rail Link, Brazil Brazil had a dream to connect its busy cities, Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, with a super fast train. People were excited about this idea because it meant they could travel between the two cities much faster. It was like a big plan to make things better. But, there were problems that stopped this dream from coming true. First, there wasn't enough money, and that made things really hard. Then, the people in charge couldn't agree on what to do so the project got stuck. There was also worry about how the train might affect the environment, like plants and animals. Because of all these issues, the amazing plan to connect the cities with a speedy train didn't happen. It's sad because it could have changed how people travel in Brazil. The train that could have made a big difference is now just a dream that didn't come true, showing how sometimes it's tough to make big ideas happen. Number 4. The Shelved Calatrava Project, Chicago, USA Chicago had a mega plan to make a skyline-defining structure. A famous architect named Santiago Calatrava was going to design it, and people were excited about it. They wanted to build an amazing spire that would be one of the tallest in the whole world. 
it would give everyone views of the city. But there were some problems. It cost more budget than they thought, and there were some tricky challenges to figure out. Because of these issues, they had to stop the project and not build the super cool spire. Even though Chicago still has a really nice skyline, not having the Calatrava project makes it a bit sad. People think it was a missed chance to have something really special in the city. So, even though Chicago still looks good, not having the Calatrava building leaves a kind of empty space where something amazing could have been. Number 3. Wonderland Amusement Park, China This park was meant to be a mega-fun place near Beijing. China. It was supposed to be as big as Tokyo Disneyland. The plan started in the early 90s, and they began building it on a big piece of land, like a cornfield. The park was going to have a castle and look like a medieval village, but in 1998, they suddenly stopped building it, and it was left alone. People in the area had different ideas about why it stopped. Some said the place was cursed, while others thought they found a lot of old bodies there. The real reason, though, was simpler. The people who wanted to build the park couldn't agree with the local government and farmers on how much the land was worth. The farmers didn't want to give up their land because it was their only way to make money. So the builders had to leave, and the unfinished park slowly fell apart. In 2008, they tried to start again, but everything was too broken. By 2013, they tore down what was left of it, and the big dream of Wonderland Amusement Park was over. Now, the land is back to being used by local farmers, and the park is just a memory of what could have been. Number 2. Venezuela's Squatter Skyscraper In Caracas, Venezuela, there's a building called Torre de David. It's 170 meters tall and has 45 floors, making it the third tallest in the country. They started building it in 1990, planning to use it for homes and offices. But after four years, they had to stop because of money problems in Venezuela. The government took control of the building, but it didn't have important things like electricity or water. It didn't even have windows in some parts. In 2001, the government tried to sell the building, but no one wanted to buy it. At the same time, a lot of people in Caracas didn't have a place to live. So, around 200 families moved into the Torre de David. They didn't have proper services, so they made their own water system. They even used motorcycles to get around inside the building. There were shops, parking, and even a dental clinic. By 2011, around 5,000 people were living there. In 2014, the government helped these families move to new homes. Now Torre de David is empty, and some people want to knock it down, while others want to make it into affordable homes. In 2018, an earthquake damaged the top floors. Today, it's still empty and used for emergencies. Number 1. Hashima Island Hashima Island is a small place in Japan, 15 kilometers southwest of Nagasaki City. It's like a time capsule with old buildings and walls from a long time ago. The island is only 500 meters long. It's special because it shows how Japan grew quickly and changed a lot. In 1887, people found a lot of coal under the sea there. A big company called Mitsubishi bought the island. They built a coal mine and strong walls to protect from storms. By 1916, they also built homes, a school, a hospital, and fun places like a cinema and a swimming pool. In 1959, many people lived on the island, around 5300. But in the 1960s, Japan started using more petroleum instead of coal, so the island became less important. People left, and Mitsubishi stopped working there in the 1970s. The buildings got old, and nature took over. In 2002, Mitsubishi gave the island to Nagasaki. In 2005, journalists could go there, and later everyone could visit. People like to see the old buildings from the Taisho and Showa eras. They wanted Hashima Island to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but some countries like North and South Korea didn't agree. That's because during World War II, the island had a dark history. Many Korean and Chinese prisoners were forced to work in bad conditions, and some even lost their lives. That's a wrap for today. What do you think about these abandoned projects? Do let us know in the comment section.